coming to the fourth bit meena went to a bank to withdraw 2000 rupees she asked the cashier to give her 50 rupees and 100 rupees notes only meena got 25 notes in all find how many notes of 50 rupees and 100 rupees she received so let us see the solution now assume number of 50 rupees notes is equal to x and number of 100 rupees notes is equal to y according to the given problem total number of notes is equal to 25 that is x plus y is equal to 25 name this as equation number 1 and the other condition is meena asked the cashier to give her 50 rupees and 100 rupees notes only to withdraw rupees 2000 so we can write 50 times of x plus 100 times of y is equal to 2000 so this is equation number 2 we have to solve both the equations by elimination method so let us multiply equation 1 with 50 now we'll be getting 50 times of x plus y is equal to 50 times of 25 which implies 50 x plus 50 y is equal to 50 times of 25 is nothing but 1250 so assume this as equation number 3 now equation number 2 minus equation number 3 gives 50x plus 100y minus 50x minus 50y is equal to 2000 minus 1250 now 50x and minus 50x will be cancelled 100y minus 50y is nothing but 50y And two thousand minus twelve fifty is nothing but seven hundred and fifty. So the value of y is equal to seven hundred and fifty divided by fifty. So fifty goes in seven hundred and fifty as fifteen. So the value of y is fifteen. In order to obtain the value of x, let us substitute. the value of y in equation number 1 which is x plus y is equal to 25 that implies x plus in place of y let us write 15 is equal to 25 so x is equal to 25 minus 15 which is nothing but 10 therefore we got the value of x as 10 x is nothing but the number of rupees 15 notes so number of 50 rupees notes is equal to 10 and the number of 100 rupees notes is equal to y which is nothing but 15 now moving on to the fifth bit a lending library has a fixed charge for the first 3 days and an additional charge for each day thereafter sarita paid 27 rupees for a book kept for 7 days while susi paid 21 rupees for the book she kept for 5 days find the fixed charge and the charge for each extra day let us see the solution of this problem let us assume the fixed charge to be x rupees so fixed charge is equal to rupees x and charge for each extra day is equal to rupees y charge for extra day is equal to rupees y according to the given problem fixed charge is for first 3 days and an additional charge is for the next day thereafter sarita paid 
27 rupees for the book kept for 7 days so for first 3 days there will be fixed charge and for next 4 days the charge is charge for extra day that is y rupees so this is x rupees so this equation becomes x plus 4y is equal to 27 this is equation number 1 now using the second condition for first 3 days there will be rupees x of fixed charge for susi and for next 2 days there will be an extra charge for each day which is nothing but rupees y for each day so this equation becomes x plus 2 times of y this is because the extra days are 2 and for each day the additional charge will be y so this becomes 2y is equal to amount she paid is 21 rupees so this is equal to 21 name this as equation number 2 we are required to find the values of x and y by solving these pair of linear equations by elimination method so equation 1 minus 2 implies x plus 4y minus of x plus 2y is equal to 27 minus 21 that is x plus 4y minus x minus 2y is equal to 27 minus 21 is nothing but 6 plus x and minus x will be cancelled 4y minus 2y is nothing but 2y this is equal to 6 which implies y is equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so we got the value of y as 3 now in order to obtain the value of x let us substitute the value of y in equation 1 x plus 4 times of y is nothing but 4 times of 3 is equal to 27 which implies x plus 12 is equal to 27 that gives x is equal to 27 minus 12 which is x is equal to 15 so the value of x is to be 15 x is nothing but the fixed charge and y is nothing but the charge for each extra day therefore the fixed charge is equal to rupees 15 and charge for each extra day is equal to 3 rupees